Hi, this is Tom, and I'm going to show you how to use Windows Live Mesh to synchronize multiple computers. So, uh, one of the things that's probably common for many of us is you've got a desktop, you've got a laptop, or you've got multiple computers, and you want to make sure that your files are synchronized across those computers. So, Live Mesh really comes in handy. It's free, it's from Microsoft, it's at www.mesh.com, and then um, you also get five gigabytes of storage. So not only can you synchronize your files across the computers, but you're going to have five gigabytes that will be available to you online so you can access those files online in case you don't have access to those particular computers. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Uh, before we get started, let me show you what we're looking at. So right now we're actually looking at the browser window. So I'm logged into my account so I can see my folders. And then the blue area here is actually my desktop for my computer, so I wanted you to see how the different files work together. The first thing we want to do is hook up a computer. So you just click on the Devices tab, and this opens up a page and it shows you what devices are hooked up. So in this case I have a desktop PC hooked up, and I also have my laptop hooked up. If I want to add another device, I just go ahead and click on the Add Device button. Let me scroll up here, and you'll notice that it gives me some options in terms of operating system. So I can do a Windows XP Vista, Vista 64-bit, and a Macintosh operating system. So go ahead and click on Install, and what that'll do is take you through the process of installing that device to uh, your Live Mesh, and then it'll show up here in this ring. And then in the desktop, you can actually see the files that are part of your mesh. Now you've got a number of folders, and some folders might be uh, synchronized across all of the devices and some folders might be synchronized across like one of the devices. So there's ways you can tell that and I'll show you how that works here in a second. So we're online. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. So we're just going to create a new folder. We'll call this Tom Test 1 and I want this to sync with my desktop because that's what we have here in the blue area. So I want to show you how that works. I'm going to sync it with my desktop. Hit OK you're going to notice it's going to create a Tom Test folder here and then it's also going to create a Tom Test folder on my desktop and lo and behold there's my Tom Test folder so now I've got a folder on my desktop and I have a folder online and then I can synchronize so whatever I add in here it's going to show up on my desktop whatever I add on my desktop is going to show up here and if I'm sharing this folder with other people uh, they're going to see those uh, changes as well so let's look at the on the desktop version of it. So I'm going to open this up. And you notice it's just a regular folder, but what it did is it added this little side tab here. And that lets me know I'm on Live Mesh and this folder is synchronized with that. And so when I look at the side tab, it'll show me whatever activity I have. So in this case, I can add a message if I'm sharing that with other people. Um, I can look at who's sharing that with me. If I want to share this folder, I just go ahead and click on Invite. I can add an email address and uh, do all that stuff, you know, add permissions and uh, email message. And then I can send that off and then share that folder with somebody. And then they just have to sign into Live Mesh. And then now we're able to synchronize our folders and, and, and talk about those. So I'm going to go ahead and make a post here. I'm on my desktop. So I'm going to say, this is Tom's uh, desktop, and uh, we'll just go ahead and add that. And so it's going to post it. It's For some reason, it's a little slow today, but um, the post should show up in here. But we're going to go ahead and close this. And then if we go to the online version, what I should see is the message I just posted, and there it is. So I can see um, how that works if I was going to collaborate or share these folders with other people. So it's an easy way to share, synchronize. Now if I'm on my desktop and I have a folder that I do want to uh, add to my Live Mesh, that's really easy. I've got this blank folder here. All I have to do is right click on it and I can add that to my Live Mesh. And I add it to the Live Mesh. I can you know, change my title. I can choose which devices I want this to hook up to. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to create a Live Mesh folder. So that was Tom Test 2 and you'll see a Tom Test 2 show up in here. The other thing you'll notice is my Manila folder turned into a blue folder. So the blue folder is indicating to me that this is a Live Mesh folder. And that's what I really like about that because I can take any folder on Live Mesh and right click on it and add it 